Hey, what's up everyone? It's Exalent, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your own BeamNP server for BeamNG. If you didn't know already, it's a multiplayer mod so you can play with your friends. First, before we get into the tutorial, you need to figure out how you're going to set up your BeamNP server. The way that I'm going to do it for this video is setting it up on my own PC, and this way my friends can connect to my server. Now, of course, you wouldn't want to give this out to just anybody because your friends are going to be connecting with your personal IP address. So if you're wanting to open up a server where anybody can join, you're going to want to purchase server hosting from somebody, or you're going to want to purchase a virtual private server and set up the server within that. So again, this tutorial is only going to cover setting up a server on your own computer and you're hosting this using your own network. So you will have to give your IP address out and you will have to port forward. So to get started with port forwarding, you're gonna to go to the start menu, type in CMD to open up command prompt. Once you have this, you're gonna type in IP config and you're gonna look for your default gateway under your ethernet adapter. If you're on Wi-Fi, it'll be listed under there. So my default gateway is 192.168.50.1. So what you need to do is copy this and paste it in your browser. Once you paste it in your browser, it's going to bring you to your router's sign-in page. Now, if you don't know the username and password, if you haven't set this up personally, you're going to have to do some Googling because each router is different. And unfortunately, I can't help you with this step. So usually you can find your default router settings on the actual router and it'll tell you how to log in. If you can't find this on your physical router, you're going to have to Google your router model. So be sure to find that out and go ahead and visit your login page. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in. So like I said, your router is going to look different than mine. I have an Asus router. So what I do is I actually go down to open NAT. So once I'm under open NAT, you can enable port forwarding. So this is just for my router, like I said. And here for service name, you can name it something like BeamNG if it gives you the option. The protocol, you're going to want to put TCP and UDP, so both. If you have an older router that only does one at a time, then you're going to have to repeat this for TCP and then make a new one for UDP as well. But luckily we can do both. The external port for Beeman G is 30814. This is the port that you are forwarding on your router. This internal IP address is going to be what computer that you're port forwarding to. So in order to find this, you're going to go back down to the start menu, go back to command prompt and top in the IP config command once again. And you're going to look for the IPv4 address. So for this computer, it's 192.168.50.138. So that would be my internal IP address. Now I've already got this set up, so I'm not going to hit OK, but that's pretty much all you would do here. And normally once you port forward, it's best to go ahead and reboot your router to make sure that those settings are applied. Now that we've got port forwarding done, our next step is to obtain an authentication key for a server. So you're going to go to this website, which I'll have linked in the description, and you will have to have a Discord account. Unfortunately, there's no way around this. It's so that they can prevent spam. So go ahead and log in with Discord. Once you've logged in with Discord, you're going to go down to the keys section and click on that. And then you're going to go up here and hit the plus button. So now that you've got your authentication key, you can just leave this up for now. We're going to use this in the next step. So now that we've got our authentication key and we've port forwarded, it's time to finally download the server. So we're going to do this for Windows. Make sure that you're downloading the server and not the client. So before you run this server, you want to make sure that you've installed the Visual C++ Redistributables, which I'll link in the description below. That's just some prerequisites that you'll need to run this exe. So you can go ahead and put this in a folder that you want your server to be located in. So here I've made a folder called for video, just going to double click it. So you can go ahead and close that. What it's going to do is generate a server config file. So you're going to right click this and go down to show more options. If you're on windows 11 and you're going to edit this in notepad. So here you can name your server right here in between these quotation marks. It also lets you know what port that you have forwarded. And then that authentication key from earlier, you're going to copy and paste it right here. While we're here, you can also change the private from true to false. If you put this to false, then this will be visible from the actual BeamNP server browser. So make sure that if you're running this on your private network, to make sure that private equals true. That way it doesn't show up in the server list. So after you paste in your authentication key, you can run this BeamMP server again, and you should start getting like all of these folders and files created. 
Okay, next I'm going to show you how to customize your server, how to run custom maps, or how to run custom cars. So any sort of mods that you're going to install is going to go under resources and then client, and this is inside your BeamNG server folder. So any sort of custom map that you want to load into, make sure it's in here. If you want custom cars, put it inside of client. If you're downloading a server plugin from the BeamNG website, or the BeamNP website, my bad, it's going to go right here. Most of you probably are not going to be loading in plugins, so don't worry about that. Just put everything under client. If you want to change to a custom map, this is how you do it. So under a client folder, here's our custom map mod. You can double click into it, click under levels, and you're going to copy the name of it here. Then you're going to want to double click back into your server config and open it with notepad. And in between these brackets here, you're going to paste in the map name. So if we go ahead and launch our BeamMP server, you can see here we got BeamMP server, it's loaded 39 mods, and everything is good. So at this point, you should be able to connect to your server. And finally, it's time to download the actual BeamMP client. So anyone that's going to join your server, including yourself, is going to have to have this. So go ahead and download it. It's going to be inside of a zip folder, which you can just open in Windows 11 and then double click on the installer. And it's going to run you through a really basic setup. So just go ahead and go through all this setup. Just make sure on this step that wherever you want to set up this BeamNP launcher, that this is the folder that you want to set it up in, which this is fine for me. This is the default. And if you'd like, you can create a desktop shortcut from the installer. And let's go ahead and install it. Next, let's launch the BeamNP launcher. And it's going to go ahead and update if there's any updates that's needed. And as long as you already have Steam open, it should prompt you to just go ahead and launch BeamNG. So let's do that now. Once you load up BeamNG for the first time with this client, you're going to see this multiplayer tab. Just click under there and agree to the terms of service and the rules. You can hit continue and you will have to go ahead and make an account if you don't have one already. You can play as a guest, but it's not going to show your actual name, I'm pretty sure. And there's some restrictions. So you can play as a guest if you'd like. So to join a server, you're going to go under multiplayer and then you can go to direct connect. And this is where you're going to paste in your IP address for your server. So again, only give this to people that you trust. This is your own personal internet IP address. So again, just keep that in mind. Okay. So now it's finally time to get your IP address for the server. So you can go to something like what's my IP address.com and copy this IPv4 address. Of course, I'm going to be blurring this out because you shouldn't know that. You're just going to paste that into here and make sure that the port's correct. And then you can save this as a favorite. So that way, when you click on the favorites tab, it'll just be listed there. But let's go ahead and try to connect. If you get this pop up about server mods, it's fine. Just download and join because it's your server. So since I decided to put 39 mods in this thing, we're going to have to set through here and let it download through all these resources. Just be really patient, even if it looks like it's frozen. If you have a lot of mods in here, it takes a lot of time. Even if your internet and computer is good, it's going to take a long time. So I would probably honestly go make some food, go for a jog or hit the gym your first time setting this up. And here we go. We've loaded into my own BeamMP server that's hosted by my server PC in the other room. And everything's working flawless. So at this point, your friends should be able to join your server. You should be able to join your server and there should be no issues. If you are running into any kind of issues like where it says connection failed, it could be that you have incompatible mods installed or you probably need to check your port forwarding and make sure that that actually went through. If you're still having issues, you might have to tweak some Windows firewall settings, which I'll show you really quick here how to fix. So if you're having some firewall issues, you can just top in firewall, go to Windows Defender Firewall. Then on the left hand side, click Advanced Settings. Then you're going to click on outbound rules. You can go over here to new rule. It's going to pop up this window. You're going to select port and the same port that we port forwarded earlier. You're going to top in here. So for BeamNG, that's 30814. You're going to do TCP and then you're going to have to create a new rule and do the same thing for UDP. So you're just first, we're doing this for TCP then select new rule, do the same thing for UDP. Click next and allow the connection, hit next, hit next. And you can call this like BeamNG TCP and then the other one BeamNG UDP. You shouldn't have to mess with Windows Firewall, but if you fucked up something, that's how you fix it.
And yeah, that about wraps everything up. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps me out. If you have any questions regarding port forwarding, please reach out to your internet provider and don't ask in the comments below. There's just no way that I'm going to know what type of hardware or network configuration that you're on. If you have any technical questions about the BeamNP mod, I would recommend joining their Discord and asking there. They're probably going to be a little bit more helpful. But go ahead and ask away, and if I can help you in any way, I will. So yeah, it's been Exilent. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.